today we're going to be having a look at a game that's been very hotly anticipated. It's been in development for a couple of years now, and it's finally gotten into our hands. Published by Consim Press and designed by Greg Smith, we have The Hunters, German U-Boats at War, 1939-43. You are the skipper. You command your own U-boat as you progress through the Battle of the North Atlantic. Will you sail home to glory? Or will you die at the bottom of the ocean? Let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight to the table. Have a look at this. We'll start out by having a quick look at our components. Here we see the game all set up, ready to be played. Here's our rule book, very well illustrated, very well laid out in the old SPI format. Uh, clearly time and love was taken into putting together this rule book. Uh, very clear, not a whole lot of ambiguity. I like it. Oh, and there's an index on the back of the instruction book very helpful for a quick lookup of that rule you're not sure about. Included with the game are uh, all the various major types of U-boats that you could skipper that served during this point in the war. So you've got choice here as to uh, which one of these machines you want to go to sea on. Plenty of charts that you'll be referring to frequently. They're laid out in a pretty sensible fashion uh, so that you're not constantly flipping from chart to chart. There's our uh, target identifier charts. Here's our U-boat combat map. And our selected U-boat mat. Uh, you can see there's uh, spaces for your skipper, his rank, any awards he may have received, uh, skill level of the crew, any possible random events that may occur, your torpedo loadouts, ammunition, there's places to track flooding, hull damage, system damage. Down here is our patrol map. There is some record keeping in this game, so included is a patrol log sheet. And uh, one thing I want to point out, a minor irritation of mine, a lot of games that require record keeping send you just one sheet, and which in that case you have to print out more. Uh, here they sent us an entire pad, double sided. So. Uh, you can start playing immediately without fear of uh, using up a game resource that you can't replace in short order. You'll begin the game by rolling for your U-boat patrol assignment, depending on which time of uh, year it is and what point in the campaign you're playing. Once you've determined your patrol location, you're going to place your U-boat on the first transit box and roll on the appropriate area on the encounter chart to determine if anything happens. As you transit, for each box you're going to roll on the encounter chart, moving your sub further through its patrol until it finally transits back to its base. The idea, of course, is to sight ships and convoys and engage them in combat. Determine the time of day that you'll be attacking, daylight or night, what range you'd like to attack from, and then once you've established ship type, you move on to your target roster. And as you can see, these are named targets and their tonnages. For historical flavor, these are ships that were actually sunk during the war. Once you've identified type and tonnage, you'll take generic ship markers and place them on your U-boat battle map. 
assign any amount of your ready torpedoes to the target of your choice and then roll on the attack chart. This will determine whether or not your torpedoes or gunfire hit, whether or not any of your torpedoes are duds. If they do hit and explode, what sort of damage do they do? Targets, if they're successfully attacked, will sustain damage. For every point of damage, you'll move the target up in the damage tracker and once they've absorbed all the points of damage they can take they are considered sunk. Now it's time for the escort to have at you. Roll on the escort detection chart applying any modifiers that may apply to your specific situation and if you're hit roll for damage. The status of your sub can be tracked with the various damage counters included with the game. Some of them are specific to named systems. Some of them are just generic damage markers. Your systems can be damaged. They can be inoperable. You may sustain flooding on your U-boat. You may sustain hull damage. And at which point, once you reach the maximum in hull damage, your U-boat can be sunk. Or, if you've got uncontrolled flooding, you can be forced to the surface. As you go along in your career, and on your various patrols, you'll write down ships that you sighted, attacked, damaged, and sunk. I like to... Uh, Put little notes for things of, 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 of note that may have happened on a patrol. And you total your tonnage for each patrol in this last column, denoting whether the patrol was a success or a failure. Your captain can be promoted in rank as the campaign continues. He can be awarded special decorations such as this Knight's Cross with oak leaves and swords. Often, Sinking an enemy capital ship will confer a knight's cross on you immediately. To add to the role-playing element, your crew, as the game goes on, can be promoted to expert, which will confer various positive modifiers to you as the game progresses. A roll of 12 at the wrong time could trigger random events. Occasionally, these random events might benefit you, such as giving you superior torpedoes for the length of the patrol, decreasing your likelihood of a dud, or perhaps good luck that will allow you to re-roll dice when an, a result doesn't uh, happen to be to your liking. Sometimes bad things can happen, though. Injuries to your crew. The death of your skipper bad weather. Along with standard patrols, where the object is to sink enemy shipping, there are also special missions that you may be sent on, such as delivering a secret agent to an enemy coast, mine laying, or taking part in a wolf pack. Well, that's about it. Command your sub. Guide it through a complete patrol. Engage convoys and escorts different times of day and night. Will you sail home to marching bands and decoration? Or will you and your crew lay in a cold, watery grave? Well, it's really hard for me to speak with eloquence here. I have not had a game blow me away to the degree that The Hunters has. Uh, part of the inspiration for this game was B-17, Queen of the Skies. Um, I've been playing that game for many, many years, 
and I have never found a game that could match it in terms of narrative until playing the Hunters. As you progress through your patrols, as you progress through the campaigns, yes, there's a lot of dice rolling, yes, there's a lot of chart checking, but an unbeatable, beatable narrative will slowly put itself together, fleshing out an incredible story. It's been described as the movie Das Boot in game form. I would say that's entirely accurate, but it's different than B-17 or other such solitaire games that you may have played before in that you've got plenty of choice. You get to decide whether or not to attack. You get to, to decide whether or not you're submerged or surface. You can try to follow the convoy so that you can attack at night. You can try attacking from different ranges, increasing your likelihood of your torpedoes hitting, but also increasing your likelihood of being detected and attacked. Every roll of the dice when that destroyer is dropping depth bombs on you is going to be tense. There is tension throughout this game. Uh, boy, I can't speak highly enough of it. I've, I've run through four different careers. Uh, I just, I love this game. Uh, if you are a fan of solitaire games, if you are a fan of good narrative, if you are a fan of games that keep you on the edge of your seat, you've got no excuse. I highly recommend The Hunters, German U-Boats at War. Uh, I've been following the development of this game for the past couple of years, and, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Greg Smith and developer John Kranz have created something here unique among games. Uh, the Hunters, I really believe, is a game that an entire subculture could be built up around. Uh, no pun intended. There is already a planned expansion in the works. Uh, there is a planned sequel. Uh, covering the American submarine campaign in the Pacific. Um, there's already files uploaded to the Geek with custom maps, custom U-boat layouts. Uh, folks are really into, the, into this game and I can certainly see why. So if you haven't already, if you've been living in a cave for the past couple of years and have not heard of the Hunters, Get over to Consim Press's website, or perhaps your favorite online retailer. Order it. Uh, you won't regret it. Uh, it's the kind of game you can run through a patrol in 10 minutes. And it's got that quality of one more patrol. One more, one more shot at the enemy. Let me just attack one more convoy. Let me just... I've only got 10,000 more tons until I can qualify for that next level of the Knight's Cross. This is a game that's going to keep you coming back to it for a long time. I can't wait to see what's coming for uh, this system. Uh, Greg Smith, John Kranz, Consim Press, you guys have really knocked it out of the park. Uh, I, I wanted to be impressed and I was not disappointed. So that's it. The Hunters, German U Boats at War, 1939 to 45. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Uh, this will be my last review until after the new year. In the meantime, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy Gaming.